Hey everybody, Bloody Hatchets here, back with another Redstone tutorial. This and yours is going to be on this very, very compact, infinite combination lock. I will also show you how to set this up and use this. So let's go ahead and get this started. Alright guys, as you see right here, I have it set up just for you for example. Now before we actually start this tutorial, I do want to go over this to really tell you why this is infinite and tell you how awesome this is. Now look down here, you see the yellow circuit right here? Now this yellow circuit is the actual combination lock itself. It takes up a 2x3 area, so so small, and this is infinite because it has a hopper system now this hopper system you can place any stackable item in this now this works by placing 18 here and then one a piece in here now this has to be a stackable item this in here is another random item glass and another random item in here string now you can also name these items place any kind of item in here of your choice for the combination and now let's go ahead and open this door really quick before we do this tutorial now you see right down here on the front we have the droppers here now I'm gonna place an oak fence in here which is the activated item that we have in here that's what we chose for that combination now right here if you remember we have glass and right here we have the string now once you have your item in there you can go ahead and press this button on each one of these and your door will open up now once you go through your door you will see that there's pressure plates now these pressure plates will close your door for you so nobody can find their way in. Now whenever you're done inside of your room, whatever you make this for, all you got to do is go ahead and go over this pressure plates to exit and to close your door, you go on these and you empty this item out. You press these buttons here like this. You go in these droppers and you take out your item. Now even if you made one of these for your door, that would be perfect. You don't have to have three. I just really wanted to show you guys how you can have more than one set up. All right, now let's go ahead and do this, guys. I'm going to place a block of choice down there with a stone button on the front of it. Now you need to turn around on the back side and place a dropper facing like this. Now once you have this, guys, then you're going to need to place a hopper crouch place a hopper into the face of that dropper just like that now back behind here we're gonna go ahead and place a block of choice right there with your redstone comparator just like that now go ahead and come up with your block of choice like this and then you're gonna place one here and then you're gonna come up just like that so so simple guys now once you have this then you need to place your redstone dust right there and then place your redstone torch right there. Now that redstone torch will lock your hopper system. That way you can place your item of choice in here. I'm going to place bone. Now what I'm going to do is place one in each one of these. You should end up with 18 left for that spot right there. Now let's go ahead and look at this redstone torch. Now if I was to press this button, this redstone torch does not go off and come back on, right? Well now let's go ahead and place the item chosen for this lock, which is the bone. So let's place the bone in here. Now let's look at this redstone torch when I press this button. See, the torch came off and came back on. That's how all this works. Alright, so now we have our combination lock. Now let's go ahead and set up the redstone for the activation on your door. Now I'm going to place a block of choice right here with the redstone dust right there. Now this will be the output right here. So I'm going to come out like this here. And I'm going to go ahead and make a T flip flop back here real quick. So let's go ahead and place the redstone dust right here. And the T flip flop what we're going to do is we're going to take a sticky piston and face it just like this. You're going to have two blocks in between and place another sticky piston just like that. Now once you have that, go ahead and place your redstone block like this. Now take your block of choice, come up like this, and then place your redstone torch on there. 
Now I'll go ahead and place the redstone dust on top of there and take this and connect it on up right up there just like that alright so now what you need to do is come down here and right here is gonna be the activation so let's come out like this now this redstone block will activate your redstone dust now you see this let's go ahead and do the demonstration real fast let's go ahead and put that piston there you see the piston is activated so let's go right up here to the front where our combination is let's press this button here and let's test this out now you see it deactivated that piston and right down here it moved the T flip flop and that's how that works so let's go ahead and go right back over here and press it again now this will activate it just like this well, alright guys now before I show you how to add more combinations to this because it's gonna be set up a little bit differently I will go over the Jeb door and how that's gonna be set up alright so let's go over this here and make our wall something like this right so now what I'm gonna do is place two by two sticky pistons right behind the wall like that and then place two more just like this now you need to skip two spaces and then make another two by two just like what we've done and come up just like this so this is what you guys should have with your sticky pistons once you've got that go ahead and place a block of choice on top of the sticky pistons just like this here and you're gonna need to come back behind it just like that on both sides now once you've got that go ahead and take your redstone dust and do a little placement like this and then go ahead and go in the middle just like that and now go ahead and take your redstone repeater and face it one this way one this way very important that you make it full tick delay and there's your Jeb door now let's go ahead and activate this Jeb door so you can really see what I'm talking about so let's go ahead and activate it there your door will do this here now let's go ahead and place your choice of blocks right here and this will be your actual door so let's go ahead and look at it you see it's flat on the wall here that's guys that's what you want so let's go ahead and deactivate it you see your door will open up and let's go ahead and reactivate it there see that is awesome so let's go ahead and show you how to set this up if you only want one combination so this here I'm just gonna go ahead and use this pink block I'm just gonna come up very quickly come up over like this and now right here where we have this I'm gonna take that out for a second because what I'm gonna do guys is show you how the easiest way to set this up alright so what we're gonna do is place your torch there your redstone dust there and then we're gonna invert that torch we're gonna come up like this so like that and then we're gonna place the redstone dust going into that torch so it'll turn that torch off and then we're just gonna go ahead and connect this on up to the activation right over here now remember you're gonna need your redstone repeater so I'm gonna slap one right there and there we go now let's go ahead and test this door out very quickly guys so I'm gonna go right over here I'm gonna press this button now your door should shut let's go ahead and press it again your door should open alright guys now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can put more than one combination lock on the same door now you see down here I've added two more this one over here is the same one that we just done with the bone inside of there for that combination now this one here remember you can put any sack of item in there but I place gravel on this one and then cobblestone wall in this one again you can put any sack of item to make it your choice of combination now right back here we have the same technique coming out to a T flip flop like what we've done before now right back here is a blue block now let me go ahead and break this here because what we need to do if this blue block isn't here it's gonna tear itself up you don't want that to happen so if you guys make more than one you're gonna need to come down to make more room or something like that you're gonna need to place a block of choice right there that way it does not burn itself out so now what we're gonna do right back here guys is we're gonna go ahead and come right here where the activation is gonna be
and come to the right, the right of it, r right next to this piston that's on the right, come one block left of it. This piston here, come one block left. This piston here, come one block left. That way, all three of them are the same. This one here is not the same. So let's go ahead and go right over here. Put your item of choice in there. I got the cobblestone wall, and we're going to activate this one so that this one here is going to be the same. So let's go ahead and straighten all this up real quick. And what we're going to do now is place our redstone dust like this. That way, all of these are going to be activated. And now we're going to go ahead and put a block right here. Place a sticky piston on top of these blocks. And then place a block of choice on these sticky pistons. Now once you've got that, then you're going to want to come right down here. Put a lever. Turn it on. Put your redstone dust there. And we're going to come under this and then in between these. Under this one, in between these. Under this one, and in between this here like that. Now, this is where your redstone dust is going to go on these blue blocks. We're going to put the redstone dust up under this block here because if this block isn't there, then the redstone dust can travel on through, and that's what is going to go ahead and activate our door. Alright, so you should have something like this if you want to have more than one combination lock on your door. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little example here. I'm going to place a redstone lamp right there to show activation. Now let's go ahead and go right to the front here. Now remember you have your item inside of these. You don't want to keep your item in here. Whenever you're not using this, you need to take your item out so nobody can know what your item is. So let's go ahead and press this button. Our item is inside of there. So pressing this button will activate the system and deactivate those pistons and now your redstone lamp is on for your activation. Alright, so now I went ahead and put the Jeb door on there just like I showed you before. So let's go ahead and open that door and test it out. So press these buttons here. Remember the activation item is already in there as you see and your door will open. So now let's go ahead and go over the closing mechanism. Alright, now let's go over the closing mechanism. So what you need to do is go ahead and find your spot where you want your pressure plates to be. I'm going to put mine right here so when you're leaving the room, you can cross over them. Have just enough time the door open with no delay and just go right out with no problem. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, see it's two blocks from that piston there. You need to place some blocks at the bottom because you're going to put your redstone dust down here like this. Now up here we're going to place our floor blocks and then our pressure plates up here. That way when we go across them, that will be activated. So now let's go ahead and come out like this real quick. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and make another T flip flop. Well, Alright guys, as you see I went ahead and made the T flip flop right here. Connected on up to these pressure plates. So that way whenever you go ahead and come inside your entrance, your T flip flop will be activated to close the system up. Now one thing before we actually start this, what you need to do is make sure that this is activated. If this is not activated, go ahead and go across your pressure plate until it's activated. Until this redstone dust is activated like this. So now what we're going to do is come over here. Now you see your pistons right here is deactivated. They're not pushed out. That's what you want. Make sure that your pistons is just like this. So now what you need to do is you need to come up just like this on each one of these, however many you guys have on yours. And then what you need to do is go ahead and take sticky pistons and face them down into that block. And let me know, guys, down below how many of these that you've made on your door. Do you only have one? Do you have three? How many do you guys have? So go ahead and place your sticky pistons like this. And now let's go ahead and take this block on down. 
So now what's going to happen is when this is activated, it will shut the doors because it will cut the signal off. Very, very simple. I'm just going to go ahead and put a repeater right here and carry this on down. I'm just going to go ahead and connect this on up real quick. That's not all that pretty, but hey, it'll work. So we're just going to go ahead and put the redstone dust up here real quick. Just like that. And now you see the system is activated where these is pressed down. And let's go right over here. Now you see your door is now shut. So now you're inside of your system. You're inside of your room. Now whenever you want to leave your room, all you need to do is go across your pressure plates and then your door will open up well, alright guys I hope that you enjoyed this and remember whenever you come out of your room and you want your door to be shut what you need to do is go ahead and press each one of these buttons however many combinations you guys have you need to press the button to reset it and you need to go inside of your dropper and you need to take out your item that way nobody can use that item to go in your room well, alright guys I hope that you did enjoy this I hope it helped you guys out let me know down below how many combinations you guys used on your door did you guys like this tutorial do you want more please let me know down below thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time